Once your gel is solidified, it should feel nice and solid. We need to put it into the electrophoresis chamber. So first you would remove the comb by lifting up on the comb, straight up, and remove the comb. You should see little wells where the comb used to be. You're then going to remove the lid of the electrophoresis chamber. And inside the electrophoresis chamber should be a clear plastic tray. Make sure that that is there. You're then going to take the, your gel out and there may be some gel on the bottom which you're going to remove and then place the gel into the casting tray. Okay, now you're ready to add TBE onto this. I'm going to add 25 milliliters of 1x TBE into the electrophoresis chamber. I'm going to rock it a little bit to make sure that the entire gel is covered. I'm going to make sure that all the wells are covered. Now we're ready to load our samples. You'll be loading each of your samples along with the DNA ladder into each one of the wells by placing your pipette tip above the well. And slowly releasing. And removing your pipette tip. Remember to change your pipette tip in between each one. I'll load one more lane. In order to load, position your pipette on top of the lane that you want, on top of the well you want to put your sample into. Slowly release. Your sample will sink into the well. And then withdraw your pipette tip. To do the final assembly on the electrophoresis chamber, we're going to take the cover and we're going to try and reduce the amount of condensation that will occur during the run by taking this blue gel spray putting one spray, just one spray, between those two electrodes. You take your blue cloth, rub it on there. You're not rubbing it off, you're just rubbing it, uh, you're just rubbing it so it equally spreads on there. And then you will take the cap and you will cover your gel with the cap. To turn on the box, Plug in the power cord. There's a place to plug it in on the rear of the box and plug it into the power supply at your lab bench. Then make sure that the cover is making good contact and press this button. You should see a green light and that green light should sustain and the electrophoresis should, should start occurring. If you inspect your box, you'll see that there are bubbles that are forming at the top and the bottom of those electrodes. You can monitor the progress of the reaction by using this cover. You just open it up and, and what you'll see is that you've got a little chamber with an eye hole in it. And so you place this over the gel box. There is a button that will allow the light to go on and when you press it uh, you can look through this hole and you should be able to see your DNA fragments progress through the gel. This is also a place where you can set your cell phone uh, to take a picture of the gel once it is completed. If at any point uh, it gets too much condensation on the gel for you to view, uh, you would take this off and uh, uh, turn it off lift up the lid. If you have to wipe off any interior condensation, do so. Place the lid back on. Turn the gel back on. Put the lid on again. And you should once again be able to view the reaction. After you have viewed your electrophoresis products and taken a picture of it, uh, make, uh, you would take the cover off the box, 
and this internal chamber with the liquid, you would dispose of this liquid in the sink. The gel, you can actually take out and dispose of it in the garbage can and clean off all your material.